Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all new Dollar Tree Valentine's Day DIYs. This is my favorite Valentine's Day Dollar Tree video that I've ever created, and I really hope that you guys are going to love it. So let's jump right into it. But before we get started, if you are new here, I would love for you to join us by subscribing down below and be sure to turn on that notification bell so you never miss a new video. For this first DIY, I'm starting off with this XOXO sign from the Dollar Tree. It did have a string in the back, but I did go ahead and just cut that off because this sign can stand up all on its own and that's how I'm going to be using it today. So to start off, I just want to give the top of it a nice coat of white paint. I'm going to spray paint it today because it's really simple, but you can definitely just paint it by hand as well. I recommend a chalk paint because it does cover so quickly. So here is mine after I spray painted it. And now I'm just going to be using some blue painter's tape to make some diagonal lines going across my sign. I tried to make the area in between the tape lines about the same thickness as the tape itself. It's not perfect. I did just eyeball it, but it's okay. And now I'm just going to go ahead and paint those exposed areas with this pink spray paint from Rust-Oleum. This one is called Candy Pink and it's a really pretty color for Valentine's Day. Now my favorite part is just taking off that paint. It is so satisfying to see those nice crisp lines. And that is it for this one. It is a really simple DIY, but just some really fun paint can transform a Dollar Tree sign into looking really high end. I found this wood house cutout shape in the crafter square at the Dollar Tree. And instead of painting it, I thought it'd be really fun to give it a print. So I created a free printable and I will leave this link down below for you guys. So down below is going to be the link for my blog and this is it right here. So once you click that link and you come to this page, you're going to scroll all the way down past the photos to the bottom and you're going to see a spot that says free printables. So you can just click on whichever free printable you need and print it out at home. This is the one that I'll be using for this craft, but you will see that second free printable and that is going to bring you right here and I will be using these in the next craft coming up. I did print mine out on cardstock because that does seem to work better for these kinds of crafts. So here it is all printed out and now I'm just going to take that wood house and just place it right over the front that way I can trace it out exactly the shape that I need. And now I'm just going to cut it out with some scissors. Once it was cut out I just took a glue stick and applied an even coat on that wood block. And I wanted to make sure that it would just stick to those corners, so make sure you get all of those corners really well. And you can seal this in with some Mod Podge if you want to make sure that that print is not going to get ruined at all. I just left mine as is. I did not find that this was needed, but it is an option. And now I'm just going to take some of these stickers from the Dollar Tree. These are their wood heart stickers. So I'm going to take two of the natural ones and just put them right in the center. Now for the last step, I'm just going to take some twine that I picked up in the crafter square at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to cut a nice long piece and just wrap it around the top part of my house a bunch of times. And then I'm going to tie it off in the front with a bow. I think that this DIY would look really nice in a tear tray. That is probably how I'm going to style mine, but this is just a fun idea for any picture you have. You can even put a picture of your family on the front part of the house. I think that would look really sweet as well. Next step is going to be that other free printable that I showed you on my blog. So I'm starting off with this sign from the Dollar Tree. It is a really nice sturdy frame. I was really impressed with the quality of this one and it is easy to customize. So all you have to do is just pop those tabs open in the back and it comes right out. The frame was nice and sturdy and I really like those beads up top. The image does not come off, but you can easily just cover it up. So I created these two free printables and again, I will leave those linked down below. And I just had to pick my favorite one, so I'm going to go with the XOXO one today. I wanted to keep it pretty neutral, but I really do love both of these prints. And you can just cut it out on those black lines there, and it should fit perfectly into this frame. I did print these out on cardstock as well, because this frame does not come with glass, so I figured cardstock would be a little bit sturdier. So once I had it back in there, I just closed those tabs in the back and that was it. This one can also stand all on its own. So this would be a great one for a tier tray as well. And I might end up switching out the print. I couldn't decide. I really did like them both, but for now I'll leave this one. 
Next up, I'm going to be using this plastic pie plate and this glass candle holder from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to start off by spray painting them both white. So this one is a nice matte white color and it does cover it pretty quickly, I would say in one coat. So I'm just going to be painting the top of the plate and then I will be painting all around the candle holder. So here is how it turned out after one coat of that spray paint. And now next up, I'm going to be using some blue painter's tape just to block out the top and bottom portion of my plate. I am going to be painting the center of my plate a different color, but I want to put a word in the center first. So I'm going to be using these poster board stickers from Dollar Tree to create my word. So I'm going to be going with XOXO, so that's why I had to pick up two sheets because I needed two X's. But if you want to spell out a word like love, you'll only need to pick up one set of the stickers. And you will see me putting it on my hand first, just because I don't want it to be too sticky. I basically just needed to block out the paint, and if it's too sticky it might take up some of the white paint that we already put down so I'm trying to do it really carefully and now I'm just going to be using some more blue painters tape just to block out that bottom portion and for that center portion I will be spray painting it that same candy pink color that I used previously I really do think that this is the perfect pink for Valentine's Day if I can find a link I will link it down below and now I'm just going to take off those stickers and they did come off really easily. They did not ruin the white paint. So I was really happy about that. But I do think that was because I put it on my hand first just to make sure they were not too sticky. And now I just have to remove my painter's tape and that is it. I really love that effect of the matte spray paint against that glossy pink, but I did decide to seal this in the end. And unfortunately, when I sealed it with my matte clear spray paint, it did take away a lot of that glossy pink, but I did feel like it was important to seal it in just to make sure that when I place items on here, that the paint would not get damaged. This is the matte clear coat that I went with. I just did about one coat, I would say, and it just kind of sealed it all in. That way I knew that the image on the front would not get damaged. And now we're just gonna attach that candlestick to the bottom just to make a nice little base for our pie plate. And to attach this today, I'm going to be using a combination of E6000 glue and my Gorilla Hot Glue Sticks. That way it has a really strong permanent hold. You can just use the E6000, but using the combination of both kind of gives you that really quick hold with the hot glue sticks, but then also the permanent stronghold of the E6000 glue. So I just mix a little bit of both and then I just put it right in the center and applied some pressure and then I let it dry completely for a few hours. I think this plate has such a sweet Valentine's Day look to it and I'm probably just going to be using mine for decor, but I do think it would be perfect with some cupcakes on top. And you might have guessed, I did create this one to kind of match our first DIY. As soon as I saw these bags at Dollar Tree, I knew I definitely wanted to use them in a DIY because I thought the prints were just really nice. So I picked up these two here, they come two to a pack. And all I had to do was just find some frames to fit them. So I found these two silver ones at the Dollar Tree and they actually ended up working out really well. So I just removed everything from that frame. I did leave the glass in place, but I did take out that white matting because it kind of just blocked some of the image. And now I'm just gonna take one of the bags and kind of just measure it. So I just place it inside the frame and where I needed to cut it, I kind of just put a bend in it. That way I knew exactly where to make my cut. It did require a little bit of elbow grease to cut where those strings were in the bag. It was kind of sturdy there, but it can be done. So once I had it all trimmed, I just put everything back in that frame, including the matting. That way it would have a nice and snug fit. And here it is all framed. And for a couple dollars, I think that this is really pretty and would look beautiful on a bookshelf. And it's an easy way to add just some Valentine's Day flair to any area. I did want to just show you how the pink ones looked in the frames as well. And I think that I'm going to leave these ones in here. I'm kind of partial to pink. These ones were my favorite. You guys have probably seen these stacked books at Dollar Tree by now, but I kind of wanted to give these a little bit of a make under. I wanted to make them a little bit more neutral and understated. 
So I'm starting off by just removing everything from the books, the plastic wrap and that bow, and I'm going to be giving it one coat of this white chalk paint. This is my favorite chalk paint. I use this one all the time in all of my DIYs. I will leave it linked down below. I just pick it up from Amazon and it lasts forever. But I do love it because it does offer such nice coverage, especially when you're dealing with really bold colors like this red. Instead of painting this by hand, you could also spray paint this, but I was looking for that textured look that the chalk paint gives, and I was really happy with the end result. Once I had one even coat, I just let it dry completely. And now, to add those words back in, I'm going to be using some of the rub-on transfers from Dollar Tree. If you can't find these, you could also use some stickers, or if you have a Cricut, you could always print out some words as well. So I'm going to be creating the phrase, I love you. Since there are three books, I thought that that would work out really nicely. So for these transfers, if you haven't used them before, they're really fun to use. You just have to cut out each letter individually, then you can just take off that white paper backing and place it onto whatever surface you want to transfer it to, and you just have to rub it. So you could just use your fingernail. I like to use a popsicle stick. I think that that works really well. And you just want to rub it a bunch of times and you'll kind of almost see the black image turn gray. And that is when you know it's ready to just take off that clear coating and your word is completely transferred. So here is my phrase all done. And now I'm just taking some twine from the Dollar Tree and wrapping it around the books. And I decided to add in some of this pink and white string as well. This three pack of cotton twine from the Dollar Tree was definitely a great find. I've used it in so many crafts already and I still have so much left of it. So I figured that it was looking pretty good here, but I did just want to add one more thing. So I'm taking one of those wood hearts from the Dollar Tree. I am going to be removing that sticker part on the back because that wasn't really strong enough to hold it to the string. So just to secure it in place, I'm using some hot glue and just placing it right in the center. And here is the final look. I really think that this make under worked out well. I do love how it's a bit more understated now. Soon as I saw this sign at the Dollar Tree, I knew that I wanted to do something with the key that was attached to the heart. The sign by itself was really cute, but I was mostly just interested in the key itself. So to detach it, I'm just going to turn it over and just pull out that ribbon up top. So there are some staples in there, but they will come out really easily. Just be careful that you don't poke yourself. And if you do it carefully, the bottom sign will stay completely intact. So you can just use this for decor or another DIY. And now for a tip that I learned from a wonderful subscriber, I'm just going to take a sanding block and just sand over that back area where I pulled out those staples. It almost makes it disappear completely and makes it super smooth. Now I'm going to be using two of these wood craft cubes that I picked up from the crafter square at the Dollar Tree and these are going to act as my supports that way my key can stand up all by itself. So you can even use the tumbling tower blocks from Dollar Tree for this but I thought that these would be a little bit more discreet since they are smaller and they did work out really well in the end. So I just used some hot glue to attach it right by the heart and actually it stood up all by itself here but I did decide to add the second block just to make sure it was really nice and sturdy. Once I did that, this key had absolutely no trouble staying up all on its own and I think it looks really nice standing out next to some of my other DIYs. I love how large it is and it's just such a fun craft. If you've been here before on my channel, you already know how I like to paint these things. So these are the ceramic figures from the Dollar Tree and you can definitely paint them by hand. I think that would be adorable, but I do like to take the easy way out when it comes to painting these and just spray paint them. So for this one today, I'm going with this gold spray paint. I thought it would be a really fun pop of color for Valentine's Day and here is how it turned out. Next up, I'm going to be creating a mini no-sew pillow from this fabric gift bag. So it actually comes with two in a pack here, so you can make two of them. I'm just going to be using one of them today. So once I removed it from the pack, I just took my scissors and I cut right across the top just to remove that string from the gift bag. Now I'm just going to fill it up with some polyfill. So once I had it all stuffed, I just had to kind of just fold the top part down 
that way I had an area to glue so you could just sew this also it would be really simple to sew by hand or with a sewing machine but I decided to make this a no sew pillow so I just whipped out my hot glue gun and if you are gluing this do be careful because the fabric is quite thin so you don't want to burn your fingers so I just glued it right across the top and then I folded the top over and glued that down just to make a really nice finished seam up top and you can just stop here but since this was a decorative pillow and not a real pillow I just wanted to add some really fun touches to it so I did add a nice little twine ribbon in the center there and then I decided to use one more of these wood stickers from the Dollar Tree and glue it right in the center so you can see here the pink does actually match really well so I thought it kind of was like meant to be so I did decide to just use some hot glue I will say though if you do recreate this, remove that sticker portion first from the wood heart. I should have done that. I was being kind of lazy and I did just glue it. It did stick fine, but I think it would have laid a little bit flatter had I removed the sticker. So learn from my mistakes. Now for my last DIY, I'm just going to be using two of these kissing booth signs from the Dollar Tree. I really love that kind of retro print to it and the shape of it, the fact that it looked like a nice big ticket. I just thought it was so cute. And I'm going to also be using some of these tumbling tower blocks from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to be using six of them and I'm going to be making three sets of two. So I'm going to glue them together just like this until I have all three sets. And now I'm just going to hot glue them to the center of one of my tickets. And now I'm just going to put some hot glue on top and then sandwich it between my other sign. So this is just going to make the sign kind of 3D and self-standing. While it's wet though, you do want to stand it up before that hot glue sets completely just to make sure that your sign is nice and level on the bottom. And that is it. It is a really quick DIY, but it's a fun way to kind of really give it a 3D effect and make it stand all on its own. And those are all the crafts that I have for you guys today, but I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. I love how so many of these crafts turned out, and I cannot wait to decorate with all of them. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new here, please do consider subscribing and coming on back for some more fun crafts. And to subscribe to my channel, you can just click on my picture right here. And be sure to check out this video for some more Valentine's Day fun.